everyone. Uh, welcome in to the Impact Sports Podcast. Uh, my name is Nick, your host for the podcast here. I first of all want to welcome in our guest here and uh, say thank you for joining me here tonight. I appreciate your yeah. time. I'm not going to keep you a long time, but I do appreciate your time. So next up, I want to welcome anyone in that's watching this. Welcome into the podcast. Uh, we we love to get to know athletes here, get to know a little bit more about them and, and share that and let others get to know them as well. Um, so thank you for joining us here. If you are watching, uh, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button and check out our sponsors, the soul Ghost podcast and fast pitch films. So now let's get you to introduce yourself and we're going to jump right in. Hi, I'm Natalie. I am a 2025 committed to the university of Georgia. Awesome. Well, thank you, Natalie, so much for joining me. Like I said, I appreciate your time. So yeah, you just mentioned Georgia there. You're going to be heading, uh, to, to Athens, Georgia pretty soon. Uh, for your co collegiate career there. So let's talk about your recruiting process. Take me back to that. Like walk me through just that experience for you and your family and just how that was. Yeah. So definitely going into September 1st, I had a lot of nerves. Um, mm. Just all the emotion building up to the day and something that I worked so hard for. Um, so I had 17 division one schools contact me and I took five official visits. Um, I met a lot of different people on the way, you know, learned a lot about a lot of different yeah. schools and, I just trusted that the Lord had a plan for me throughout the whole process. You know, I knew that what's meant to be will be. So I really tried to just like trust that my hard work would pay off. And I felt that, you know, I attended as many camps as I could. I did as much as I could. You know, my family did as much as they could for me to help me on the recruiting process. So I really just trusted that I did everything I could do to put myself in the best position going into September 1st. And I'm definitely super thankful for all the coaches and opportunities that I was given when the day came. I got you. So, so me, you know, I've spoken to a lot of your future teammates that are mm -hmm. going to be playing with you. Um, and you know, they've all talked about Georgia and what they loved about it. What was it for you that kind of stood out about, you know, the university of Georgia? Yeah. Um, I just love the coaches, you know, you can tell that they want you for more than just the athlete, you know, they want me as a person. And yeah, that was really important to me to know that I'm valued beyond my sport. Yeah. I've heard great things about the program, uh, they're yeah. building, uh, not just like the facilities and other yeah. building facilities yeah. too, but also uh -huh. recruiting, uh, recruiting great people. You know, many, yeah. all the athletes I've gotten to interview um, like yourself that is going to Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, great people there. So thank you for a little bit of yeah. uh, just about your recruiting process there. So next up a question I, I talk a lot about, I talk about this question a lot and ask about growth a lot. And mm -hmm. the reason why is really because it's important in my life to really just to grow, know where you're at, know what you need to work on athletes, human beings in general need to be doing that. I think right. um, yeah. so for you, uh, what are some areas that you've seen yourself grow in? Maybe it was over last year, 2023, and, and even into this year. So for you, what has that been? Um, I think recently, as I committed in October, I think that I've had like a higher level of motivation and mm. work ethic. You know, me and Ada went and watched um, Georgia play last weekend, and it was just yeah. like surreal, like to know that I'll be playing in that stadium in two <laughs> years is crazy. And so I think like I just like my motivation has grown to a higher level lately. And just knowing that my future and what I have ahead of me and the opportunities that I'm given. Yeah. And then another thing I would say is that I've gotten the opportunity to work with a lot of the younger athletes later, mm. like lately. So that's been really cool to be able to give back to where my journey started. And I know when I was younger, I was appreciated when the older athletes came and helped out. And yeah, that's probably the big thing for me is just being able to have all these opportunities now in front of me and just being, I think I've grown like, more thankful for the game than I even mm. was before, just with all the people that I've been given and all the opportunities that I'm now given. I mean, it's given me my future and where I'm going to school. So that's just been really cool to really see it all pay off and just everything that the game gives me. I, I love that. And I, I think that's such a cool um, perspective. I'm glad you have that because mm -hmm. you were talking about like, Hey, once I, you know, I committed to Georgia and you, you were talking about going to the game there and just kind of being in the atmosphere and, and realizing like, Oh man, I get to, I get to yeah. do this, you know, I get to be out there and I love that because you do have yeah. this kind of like, you know, it's like this humility about you, like this humbleness, like, OK, I really get to do that. And you mentioned thankful, like you're very thankful for mm -hmm. these opportunities. And like you said, with the younger people that you're getting to be in contact with now and, and be kind of like a role model. Yeah. for. I think that's very important there. So thank you for sharing mm -hmm. uh, about that. That's very important there. So next up, let's talk about something not so fun, dealing with adversity. Every athlete goes through it. Mm -hmm. So for you, when you're not performing your best out there, you're not doing your best we'll say it's like the first inning and something happens that you really don't like that's yeah. happening. How do you not let that affect you in the, in the later innings there? 
I think something that I've really been taught and, you know, my hitting instructors really focused on it recently is that softball is not who I am. It's what I do. So something that really helps me get through adversity is focusing on why I play the game. You know, if you don't have a why behind why you play, then it's going to be really hard when you're tired or when you're having a rough game to stay motivated and stay dedicated. And so I think just understanding that softball has given me everything, you know, the relationships I've built and taking softball like on another level after I graduate college and using it in the real world and the lessons Mm -hmm. that I'm being taught right now to use in the real world, you know, softball, just a game. It's not going to last forever. So being able to use the lessons that I'm learning on my life at a higher level. So I think Mm -hmm. a lot of it's really just my why behind why I play, you know, like if I make an error, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's teaching me a lesson to grow into a better, you know, woman when I'm older. Yeah. So. Yeah. And yeah. Cause like, you're just, you're not just there for that moment. Like just yeah, this momentary, right. like mm-hmm. a, I mean, obviously a great play is a great play. Like you hit a home run. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. You you do whatever it is. It's amazing, but you're there for more than just that single play there. So right. I, I love that. So next up, let's talk about your family. Those people that are there, no matter what, you know, no matter what's going on, no matter what the scoreboard says or anything like that, how important has your support system around you been in this whole journey? Yeah, I would say that the guidance that my family has given me and all mm. the people around me, you know, my support system is amazing. And all my trainers and coaches and all those people have meant everything to me. And I'd say the biggest thing for my family was the guidance they've given me. You know, not all girls know how to go through the recruiting process. They don't know what stuff yeah. to take. And I think, you know, my dad gave me a lot of what I have today because of the steps we took and the guidance and going to camps and all that stuff that he pushed me to do, you know, going to camps isn't always the most fun. It's like, it's not the most fun (laughs) thing to do, but you know, he kept pushing me and getting me to go to him. And so I think it really paid off and I can't thank my family enough. I I know I would not be in this position without them and all the time and money and dedication that they've given to my sport is just amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing a little bit about your family there. So uh, next up, let's talk about just, all the things you're really juggling as a, a young student athlete, you know, somebody that, you know, I'm sure sometimes you just want to go be a teenager. Sometimes, you know, you want to do this and do that. And you might have to say no a lot more than mm-hmm. other people because you're working hard at your craft and in your sport and obviously being a student athlete. So what are some of the challenges that come with having to juggle so many things? Mm-hmm. You know, I think the hardest part is definitely your time management. Um, I think I do have really good time management over the course of these years, you know, whether that's doing homework on planes or whatever that is in the car. (laughs) Um, So I think that's been, I've learned how to do that really well. And then growing up, I always got told from some of my former instructors, you know, instructors, like there's three things. It's your social life, your academic life, and your athletic life, and you can't have all three. And so you really need to focus on two of them and what's most important to you. And academic and athletic life is the most important to me. So, you know, I know there's weekends that I tell my friends no and I can't go out and do stuff, but at the end of the day, softball is really important to me and it's given me so much that I owe it to the sport to get back to it and to make sacrifices because it's that important to me. Yeah, and and also, like, I think in, in that thing there, like with mm-hmm. having to be like, okay, I, I got to narrow down like what I really yeah. want. But also you just mentioned earlier, like what the sport's given you, the relationship. So you may... Right. You may have to be like, okay, like I can't do that, but through what you do as an athlete, you're going to gain these other relationships right. there as well. Yeah. There, so yeah. thank you for that. Uh, so, so next up, I just got some random questions here for you. I'm just going to have a little fun here with you and just to get to know you on a personal level before I let you get out of here tonight. So, give me your favorite movie and TV show. My favorite movie, I'd have to say anyone but you. And okay. Then my favorite TV show is probably Outer Banks. Okay, nice, nice. I like it. And what about a favorite musical artist? Morgan Wallen. Okay, and then if you had to only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Probably steak. Okay, steak. Well, how do you like your steak done? Medium, medium well. Okay, I I like it. That's an important (laughs) question right there. So (laughs) I remember my wife and I always talk about that because I'm like, wait, how do you like your steak? So um, important one there. What about a place that you have not been that you want to go visit? I haven't been to Hawaii, and I really want to go to Hawaii. Okay, I can agree with you on that. I think everybody will agree with you on that one there. <laughs> um, last one here. Obviously, we've talked about how much your sport does take up of your time and everything, but tell me some other like interests and hobbies of yours, like when you do have some time to, to get away. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like to travel. You know, I mean, I know a lot of that has to do with softball, but <laughs> I know more at tournaments. I like to go look at other things and see what's really out there um shopping is a big thing i'd love to shop like lululemon all those stores are where it's at and then 
watching sports, obviously. I watch sports all the time and just spending time with my friends and family. Awesome. I love that. Well, thank you so much for that. And I, I appreciate your time here uh, tonight. I do appreciate everything, everybody watching this. Thank you guys. Um, have a great rest of your week coming up. Well, not rest yeah. of your week. It's about to start um, <laughs> now. Uh, so have a great week. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Good luck with everything. I'll definitely be checking back in with you and, and checking on you. I know, like I said, uh, George is doing some great things there with all their recruits. I, I've spoken to, I mean, had probably over 10 now. They're going to be your future mm-hmm. teammates. So thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your, your night. Yeah, thank you for having me. Hey, you're welcome. I'll see